right, y'all, moving on. Entertainment Tonight reporter Kevin Frazier is getting backlash about asking Nia Long about the cheating scandal with her, uh, you know, her, her ex-man uh, on the red carpet for her premiere of The Best Man, the final chapters. Someone posted, imagine being on the red carpet for a celebration and you have to recollect and relive emotions from being cheated on. Another person wrote, why would you talk about it at a place where she's being celebrated with their new series? That is so inconsiderate. And if you're doing her just like, you're doing her just like the Celtics did. All right, what do y'all think about Kevin Frazier? Do you think he was out of line for asking Nia the comment about the cheating scandal during her premiere night? Vivica, what do you think about this? And is this normal? Because this is when they see you, right? Yes, um, it's her first red carpet appearance. It's an uncomfortable um, question to definitely be asked. But, you know, that's when you just learn to handle it with grace and like, no comment. Next question. Mm -hmm. Okay. I agree. It's that simple. You can say no comment. Next question. That's a personal issue. Next question, please. I mean, that's what she would have said, but I'd have gave him one of these. <laughs> do you have another question? <laughs> <laughs> Selena, what do you think? There's, there's no winning correct way to answer it. I mean, you know, it, it, she's in a difficult position, but she has to realize that that question is going to continue to come up. So she can null and void it. She can have publicists say no questions regarding the incident. And just keep that moving. She does not have to address it publicly. She can address it when she feels like it. That's right. Selena? You know, I I, I watched her response. And um, if, in the beginning, I just felt like, you know, man, can people just celebrate their own stuff? But then her response, I loved it so much that I was kind of glad that he was able to ask that question and get her response. And he was kind of on her side with it as well. Like the way that he asked the question, he was kind of outraged at what happened to her. And um, I just love the way she was like, listen, it was a fool. I definitely think that the Celtics organization was outrageous and inconsiderate for, you know, blowing the whistle like that. And I think that it should have been a private matter. You know, So I was kind of happy to hear her opinion on that. You know, well, interested to hear that opinion on that I, I wasn't happy but I was interested to hear her opinion um even though it probably was inappropriate but she hadn't spoken on it so she must have been waiting to say something because she could have like you said she could have just been like no nah, I'm good you know we're gonna talk about best man and keep it moving but she must have really wanted to say so and you know what look I'm glad that she used our platform to be able to say it and not their platform to be able to say it because if they yeah. would have asked her would we still be talking about it like this and you have to have a thick skin. This, we know this already. They're going to they gonna get us when they can. Ask yeah, I'm, I'm, questions when they can. For the people that are getting upset, Nia, Nia Long was 1,000%. She knows that that's what, if she hasn't been out and given any interviews, this is what she she, she knows. Uh, she's a seasoned veteran in the game. She's gonna, she knows that they're going to ask her this. Like, if you see her out, they're going to grab her. Anyone wants to get that first, really, explanation from her. So, of course, so I, I believe she, she knew about it. And um, I think she handled it great, like y'all said. You know, she handled in her terms with a black with black a black reporter that was sympathetic. I, I think it went well. I don't think uh, Kevin Frazier should be getting smoke for that. That's what he does. Right. And uh, Kevin Frazier asked Stephen A. Smith about the scandal on the carpet uh, the same night he went to Nia Long. So he asked other people about it, too. It, it is big news. All right, y'all, listen, we are taking a quick commercial break, but we got a guest tonight, y'all. We are talking to the shy actor, Jacob Lattimore, right when we come back. Stick around. You don't want to miss this. We'll be right back. 